can't say welcome. My name is Fancy Patra, and I am the manager of Indigenous Relations here in the city of Burnaby. First, I want to start off by acknowledging that I am an uninvited visitor from Miccosoo Cree First Nation in Treaty 8 territory. And I acknowledge with gratitude and humility that I live, work and learn on the traditional, ancestral and unceded lands of the Hunkaminam and Skohomish speaking peoples. As your host, I want to take you through the reasons why Orange Shirt Day is important in the city of Burnaby and how you can participate. Orange Shirt Day takes place every September 30th and is a day that people can take part in commemorating the Indian Residential School experience. For over 150 years, between 1831 and 1996, First Nations, Inuit and Métis children were taken from their families and communities to attend Indian residential schools, which were often located very far from their homes. 139 schools operated over that time, and more than 150,000 children attended. Many never returned. The schools operated by various Christian churches and the federal government were explicitly designed to separate these children and their families from their indigenous cultures. And for decades after 1920, attendance was compulsory for First Nations and Inuit children. To try and keep the children from attending resulted in arrest or criminal charges for parents, and it did not end up preventing the children from being taken anyway. The schools ended up doing enormous damage and harm to the children and their communities. They were often underfunded and overcrowded. The quality of education was substandard. Children were harshly punished for speaking their languages, and they were used as unwilling participants in medical experiments, and many were abused by staff. Staff were not held accountable for how they treated children. The result was trauma and loss for Indigenous families and communities, which lingers in many forms into today. From 2008 to 2015, the federal government held a national inquiry into the schools and other related issues. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada, or TRC, heard from nearly 7,000 survivors or their family members detailing abuse, degradation, loss of culture, and the long-term effects of trauma. Survivors like Phyllis Webstad. Phyllis was just six years old when she went to the St. Joseph Mission Residential School in Williams Lake in 1973. She was the third generation in her family to be sent there. Her grandmother had managed to pull together enough money to buy Phyllis a new outfit, which Phyllis helped pick out, an orange shirt, which she described as bright and exciting, which is also how she had felt about going to school for the first time. When Phyllis arrived at the school, she was stripped down by staff and her clothes taken away forever. As a six-year-old, she learned from that experience that her feelings did not matter, how nobody cared, and she was left believing she was worth nothing, a feeling she carried along as she grew up. For decades after, the color orange brought back those horrible feelings and memories. Despite years of working to heal from her resulting troubles, Phyllis still feels that way sometimes, like she doesn't matter. Phyllis told her story in 2013 as an example of the harms and traumas that these schools caused and the damage to the self-esteem and well-being of the children, their families, and the communities they were from. The orange shirt, the accompanying slogan, Every Child Matters, now stand for the opportunity each year to talk about the schools and their legacy and for society to work together on two important goals. First, to ensure that every child comes to know that they matter. And second, to affirm the Indian residential school survivors that they matter, even as adults. Now that you know more about Orange Shirt Day and what it means, I hope that it makes sense about why the City of Burnaby has started to mark the day every year. City Council and staff have been on a truth and reconciliation journey since 2016 because we recognize the value and importance of being supportive partners to local First Nations and Indigenous people living here. Part of that journey 
is being part of the conversation about Indian residential schools and taking action to support survivors and their families to know that they matter. Join us in being a supportive partner by wearing orange on September 30th and by taking the opportunity to learn more about the history and the meaning behind the day so that you can help us all move forward in a good way. You can also support this work by buying an orange shirt from the Orange Shirt Society or from a recommended vendor who will donate the proceeds of the sale to charities and not-for-profit societies that provide healing and support services to survivors and their families. You can email indigenous at burnaby.ca for more information on finding reputable vendors of shirts and buttons or to find out more resources to help you learn and become a supportive partner. Ekose, Haitsika, Haitschka, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Hurley and I'm the mayor of the city of Burnaby. This community is located on the ancestral and unceded homelands of the Hunkamainam and Squahimi speaking people. Today, I'm joined by my colleagues on city council to share an important message for the National Day of Truth and Reconciliation. Every year on September 30th, Canadians from coast to coast wear orange shirts in recognition of the ongoing legacy of colonialism and the continuing effects on Indigenous peoples as a result of the residential school system. This year we were all deeply shocked and saddened as unmarked graves were unearthed at the sites of many former residential schools across Canada. As shocking and as troubling as these discoveries are, as Canadians we have an obligation and a responsibility to educate ourselves about the residential school system and the systemic racism that continues to impact the lives of so many Indigenous people. In keeping with its promise to implement the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action, the Government of Canada has officially declared September 30th as the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. In light of the recent discoveries, the City of Burnaby supports this important day of commemoration. Many stores and services will not be open on September 30th. If you happen to have the day off from work or school, we encourage you to take a step back and reflect on how we can all play a role in advancing truth and reconciliation. There are no simple answers, but there are plenty of places to start. You can go online and read the final report of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and study the 94 calls to action. You can find a wealth of local resources and information, such as the Indigenous History in Burnaby Guide, to learn more about local Indigenous culture and history. You can wear an orange shirt and spend time reflecting and honoring those who lost their language, culture, and in some cases their lives as a result of the residential school system. And we can all pledge to come together in the spread of reconciliation to support survivors and their families by making much needed changes to advance relationships with First Nations, Inuit, and Métis communities. Today, we listen, we learn, and we chart a better path forward. Thank you.